From Ghost Firearms here, we just finished up a long range class in Lewistown, Pennsylvania. One of the things our students comment on most is our explanation of parallax. A lot of them kind of thought they knew what it was, um, but I think a lot of the videos on YouTube either leave stuff out or kind of try to make it a little more complicated than it is. So we're gonna explain it to you. Hopefully this will answer any questions you have. And we're gonna show you what this weird thing is in my hand, uh, the prop that we use to help explain parallax. And hopefully this will help you understand it and you'll never have to watch another parallax video again. So here you go. First thing you gotta know is how a scope actually works. So when you look at an image, when you look at a target out in the field, the light is reflected off it as it comes through the uh, objective lenses, the light is bent and it focuses on a point inside the scope. So the first time it focuses, that's the first focal point. The image uh, then, it's actually upside down. The image is then crisscross. It goes through the lenses in the erector assembly tube and it's focused for a second point inside the scope. And that's called the second focal point. The image is crisscross again. It's for images right side up and that goes to your eyeball and that's what you see. So one thing you have to know is when you look at an image a hundred yards away, we just picked these, these uh, yards just arbitrarily, a hundred yards away, and then you look at an image, say a thousand yards away. Well, when the, when the light reflecting off that image comes through the objective, right, you'll notice the focus points are in different spots depending on the distance of the image you're looking at. So what we need to do is we need to move the focus point of the image onto the same plane as our reticle. So you see here, this would be our reticle would be in a first focal plane scope. And it doesn't matter. One, if we're focused here, the image is crisscross and, and we would be focused on the second focal plane as well. So it doesn't matter if you have a first or second focal plane, it works the same way. So why is this so important that where our image is focused be on the same plane as our reticle. Why is that so important? Well, I'm going to show you why with the little prop we have out here. And then I'll, I'm going to show you these cutaway scopes and I'll kind of show you what happens. Here's the parallax lens that moves back and forth. I'm going to show you that in a second. So why is that so important that they be on the same plane? Well, I'll show you why. So first, way I'm going to show you is if the parallax is not set correctly. Well, if my head is directly behind the scope and my eye is perfectly centered behind the center of that reticle, it looks as if the reticle is on the center of the target. And that's cool. If my head position, my eye position are perfect behind the rifle every time, parallax really won't have any, I won't have any parallax issues. Uh, the target will look fuzzy because we originally focused, you should have anyway, focus your reticle to your eyeball using that uh, eyepiece, all right? The problem occurs is when I move my head, if my head position isn't perfect behind the scope, if I move my head around, it looks like the reticle is moving all around on the target. Well, is it? No, it's nothing is obviously moving. This is on a tripod. The only thing moving is my head. So the problem is if my eye position, my head are not perfectly aligned behind the rifle scope, well, that gives me a false sense of where the target is, and it's gonna make me wanna actually twist the target off of, off of the target, right? So I'm gonna probably miss. But if my, again, if my head is perfectly centered, I don't really notice any issues. So if I take my parallax knob and I crank that wheel and I focus that image on the same plane as my reticle, so this is gonna be as if they're on the same plane and I have my parallax set right, it doesn't matter if my head position is good or not, right? I move my head around, that crosshair stays centered on the target. Ah, now if you have perfect head position, parallax really isn't gonna be an issue. A and the more out of whack your head position and your eye position are, the more it makes a difference. All right, so this is, parallax is set right, my image is clear, my reticle is clear, now, my parallax is out of whack. You'll see immediately what happens when I move my head around. That image seems to be fishing around on the crosshair. When we know obviously nothing is moving, this is on a stand. I have to move that, roll that lens so I can focus that image on top of the crosshairs. So it doesn't matter if my head position is not perfect. 
I am parallax free and the world is good. All right, I'm gonna show you some cutaway scopes now and show you how that works. Okay, so here's one of the cutaway scopes and you'll see this giant spring here that's holding this lens in place. Uh, that's the parallax lens and you'll notice as I turn the parallax knob, it's moving that lens forward and back. And what that does is that's able to move the focus point of the image uh, and I can place it on the same plane as the reticle. And uh, that's what you saw in that little demonstration I just did. So that's what's actually moving inside the scope. And just real quick, you can see right here, here's your erector assembly tube. When I turn my magnification ring, you can see the erector assembly tube. There's a whole bunch of lenses in here as well. Um, so just thought that was cool for you guys to see. That's what's actually happening. I'm moving that lens back and forth. And that was kind of how we demonstrated um, using this little prop that I use for my classes right here. So hope that helps explain a few things. And the last thing we're going to show you is, so this is based, say this is your parallax lens. As I move it back and forth, you can see the pinpoint light. You can see me being able to focus that light down to a point. And that's basically what we're doing. We're moving a lens, which then moves the focus point of what we're looking at. And we put it on the same plane as our reticle and the world is good.